so hello guys um sorry about the little bit of a weird lighting um welcome back to my channel welcome back for a vlog um today i've just really decided to like randomly pick up the camera and just show you guys what i'm gonna be getting up to the next few days um basically the look the country is going into another lockdown i don't even want to talk about it too much but that's the situation so i'm going to try and make the last like make the most of the last few days of freedom i've come to um home sense i'm gonna bring you guys into home sense see what they've got i think i'm gonna pick up some more christmasy bits because we're gonna try and decorate the house like really early this year so hopefully i'll bring you guys like i'll show you guys what they've got new in i did go not that long ago but hopefully they do have a few more sort of bits in since then i'm um, just so gonna do like a little haul of that i should just bring you guys along for the next few days i don't know if this will be like one vlog or two vlogs depending on what i sort of do today um i'm going to london on wednesday as well so bring you guys along to that um i've got my hair up which is why i feel a little bit weird i feel like very exposed with my hair like this um it's in like a little plait and this jacket is from boohoo it's coming in a haul very soon I'm not sure if it will go live before or after this vlog um but i absolutely love this so much this is actually boohoo man um and it's like a burner boy collab i don't actually know who burner boy is but can't really see it anyway but i think it's just such a cute little jacket really good quality as well but like i said you guys will see that in a haul very soon um so i'm gonna bring you guys along to home sense and we'll see what sort of like new in christmas bits they've got these are really cute i love these yeah i love that that's so nice it looks like in the middle because all our christmas theme is sort of like a white theme i like that one as well with the bluey oh i don't know but like this is a bit more like wintry snowy mm -hmm. that's a bit more autumnal so probably that one I think I showed this sort of stuff last one. I think they've got that much new in since we last came in this sort of section here. Oh my god, the wreaths are basically gone. Look at that massive heart one. That is massive. Oh yeah, sorry, ignore my nails as always, guys. Really cute. Oh my god, little. I just get my elf on the shelf out. Yeah, this would be good for all of our decoration. They've literally put all of their Christmas stuff out now, like all of the gifts and stuff. Probably hoping that it's gonna like literally go in the next like three days. Because if you want to do your Christmas shopping early, you literally do need to do it in like the next three days, which is so scary. Oh look! That one's so cute. Little, little. Oh Danny likes these little things. Yeah, No, he's got one Aquaman one. Scooby Dooby Doo, Warcraft. I don't know what games he plays. What's Warcraft? Yes. Rick and Morty, but I don't know what one that is. Creepy Land, I don't know what that is. That is so nice, I love that. It's like the one in H&M Home. How much is that? I don't, I don't even want to touch it. 14 .99. that's not bad. Not bad. That would have fit the old vibe. Oh my god, they've got so many Christmas candles. That is so cute. I want to get a really Christmassy one. That's, I don't know what this smells like, but this looks really cute. Yeah, it does. The little joy on the top. That's so cute. Yeah, it smells like. Spruce should be like a Christmas tree. Oh. Nice. Mm, that's nice. All right. How much is it? Nine Every time you do that, you get lip. Make, you can get my lipstick on it. Oh. What's this little one? White Christmas. Citrus. This is cute as well. This basically like opens like this. I don't know what it smells like, but it looks cute. We just ordered some actually from um, Zara Home. I think I got the Christmas scent from there, so see how that smells like. But we just sort of prefer the ones sort of like this neutral colour, but then these ones always smell the nicest, like these like darker coloured ones. 
This is so I cute, really this little boot go. mug. Get it then, because there's only one. They've got so many cute Christmassy mugs now. Letter ones, what are these? The little unicorn. These are sort of more gifting ones. Oh my God, there's a little cat like Arnie. Oh. 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 Let's put that right. Where's the sloth? Oh, it's chip. That's probably why it's left. There. Oh, little sloth. Look at these blankets. What's that? Oh, that's so cute. I really like that one. I've got that one. Please, little rise couple cues on Yeah, Christmas videos. That'll probably all be in the house. This is like um, El Darby's blanket, Mum. Oh my God, feel how soft that is. Oh my God. Oh, look. I know. Toilet seat. Santa's toilet seat. Yeah, that's what like Danny's family, they they like put on their, they put stuff in the bathroom, like little towels and stuff. Lindor. Christmas drink. My dad's already basically started getting loads of stuff for Christmas. Like he's already got loads of sweets and everything oh these are cool if they weren't rose gold i love the shape of them i'm a bit over the rose gold vibe now but they're really nice look christmas ones they're cool as well but again rose gold i don't want rose gold i'm more on this like the yellow gold vibe now these are really cute these little bowls i think i might even show them before really cute this is like really cute and traditional all of this stuff yeah so cute the antique looking don't forget my candle there oh my god wait me what is that oh it's a i thought it was a mermaid tail it's a peacock is there any more christmas i might have just put all the christmas ones out over the other way winter wonderland I'll go in your room all under 5.99. We would have just seen some little footage from Home Sense, and we also popped into Audi and just got some bits for lunch. Um, we're currently at Tesco. I'm just going to get some more things for lunch as well. Go home quickly, have lunch. Um, and then we're going to pop back out because we're going to go to the garden centre, which I'm going to show you guys, which is so exciting because it's so Christmassy in there. Like, they have so many gorgeous Christmas bits. That was where I went last time. I think I did a little haul of some things I bought, but I didn't actually bring you guys in there. So I'll be doing that in the next part of this vlog. Um, I think for lunch, we're just going to have some sort of, like, tortilla chips and sort of, like, dips, like guacamole and guac... guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. Guacamole. Um, no, guacamole, salsa like a mix and then i think it was freya put it on her on her vlog like on her last vlog she did she got like this dip from m s and it was like layers of like different mexican dips and then with cheese so we're just gonna like recreate that with some jalapenos jalapenos i just can't talk today um i really like my hair in a, in a plait like on pics and like in real life but on this camera it's just looking like i'm fully bald really annoying but anyway um yeah loving this jacket as well which you guys will see very soon in a haul um, I'm literally just sat on my own because my mum's in there. Actually, I'm, I might go in the charity shops actually. As we drive back, I'm going to see if the, there's like any parking spaces near the charity shops because I really want to have a look in there because obviously I'm not going to be able to go in there for the next God knows how long. So I sort of want to have a look in the charity shops, want to see what they've got, see if they're actually taking anything as well because I've got loads of stuff to get rid of. Um, I think, like I said, I will sort of like include the what I do the rest of this week within this vlog so I probably won't be doing loads of stuff today. Um, so it will be sort of like today, like going shopping and then it will also be Wednesday doing some really exciting things going to london um and i think maybe i'll just bring you guys along to uni tomorrow as well I, I do not know what's like the whole thing is up in the air i do not know what's happening with uni i don't know like what if i'll be in like honestly this life's just crazy like this whole situation is so crazy but like i just wanted to actually talk to you guys a little bit about that um a bit more so obviously i'm not going to ignore the fact of everything going on in the world of course it's awful and dreadful and but we hear about, we hear about it enough on every single other platform i don't want my platform to be sort of focusing on it as well like i would rather my channel i saw that like, emily phil pop up uh, <laughs> i literally can't talk emily phil pop up about this on her um story this morning so did um Gemma louise miles um basically saying that they want their channel to sort of be a little bit of an escape for you guys like so i personally feel the exact same i don't want to be 
constantly addressing the virus on my channel this is like literally all i'm going to talk about and i'm not going to talk about it again um and i'm not discrediting the fact that it's important and obviously you guys need to keep yourself educated but i think we're literally it's being like shoved down our throats every single other platform news platform media platform that there is so i think for my social media i just want to keep that off my platform I just want to treat my platform as more of an escape for you guys just to keep you guys feeling cozy positive um we're all in this together we've got through it before we can get through it again um so yeah that is literally all i'm going to address about it but like i said with the whole uni situation i don't know how that's going to affect my uni like i've literally only been back two weeks and i don't know now if i'm not going to be back like honestly what is life yeah but anyway we'll see if we go to the charity shops i really want to go in the charity shops i'm hoping they'll there'll be a parking space nearby um but i'm not sure what i'll check in with you guys next probably when we go to either when i have lunch or when we go to um if i get in the charity shops or when we go to the garden center <laughs> There's some really cute little um, frames, the little things inside. Look how cute this is. It's so magical in this little church with the carol singers. I don't know if it's a church, a little building with carol singers. So cute. Oh, and the little train with the snowman. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. The snowman, the little clock. Do you shake this probably? No, yeah, you should. Oh, yeah, maybe you plug it in, I don't know. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, I love that. Thanks. It's so cute. So, hello everyone, I'm now back from the garden centre. Um, I'm not quite sure what you guys would have seen. Um, I tried to film a little bit in there, although. I don't know what happened to me. I basically just started crying in the garden centre. Like, it was all very bizarre. Um, I, don't know, I do not know if it was, like, the time of the month. I don't know if it was just, like, an overwhelming, set, like, a delayed reaction to the lockdown. But I was just looking at all the Christmas stuff that they put out. And I was just, like, so, so sad that, like, I thought that a lot of people were not going to see or be able to buy any of the stuff that made, like, they put so much effort into doing all of these displays. And it just made me feel, like, really, really sad. So, yeah, I just had a little cry. Um, ended up buying a £17 toy just because I was scared of leaving it in the shop. Like, literally, this is how crazy I am. Like, I'm actually insane. But that's what happened. That's why there's a lack of footage in the garden centre. Um, because I'm a little bit of a wreck. But it's fine. I'm going to show you guys a haul now of everything that I bought from HomeSense and from the local garden centre. And also some other little bits that I've also picked up recently from some other shops. Um, just all sort of, like, very Christmassy, cosy vibes. 
Um, so the first thing I actually picked up from HomeSense was a candle. Obviously, you have to go to HomeSense, you have to buy a candle. So I picked up the classic Panettone candle. I don't know if you guys can see very well. My nails are literally worse than ever, guys. So apologies. Um, yeah, just like this. It's really cute. I, I first of all just picked up because I just thought it looked like a really cute little candle. And then I smelt it because I was really happy because sometimes... The nicest looking candles in home scents are the worst smelling. Like, can anyone else relate? Like, we usually all like the brightly coloured ones are the best smelling. Um, and all the nice, like, neutral ones don't smell that great. Um, but this is ca classic panettone, baked, fruity and soft. A warm loaf of candied fruits and raisins with butter and a touch of vanilla. So it's sort of like Christmassy, but it's a little bit more sort of subtle than Christmas. It's not sort of like cinnamony and all of that, even though I love that. It's a little bit more subtle. Um, and guys, this smells insane this smells so nice um and i'm so happy i actually found a little neutral candle that smells just as good as it looks because like i said it's quite hard to do that um and this was actually 2 99 so cannot go wrong um if this video i don't think this video is going to go live before the lockdown um but hopefully when we are allowed back out um have a look in home sense and see if you guys can find this candle because it's so nice they had a few more in this like little style as well i don't know if they were other flavors of panettone or if they were just sort of other flavors but they just looked like similar to this it's sort of like brushed glass which i think is really really cute love it so guys next thing i picked up from home sense um was another christmas mug um if you would have watched my last vlog slash haul sort of in the same sort of setup um you might be getting like deja vu because i literally bought two christmas mugs in that haul as well um but when i saw this in home sense i literally couldn't resist it's just this gorgeous like white ceramic mug it's quite a good size quite big um it's got a little cat on the front with a little um christmas tree with, like santa paws written in a little script writing um and it's got a nice red handle and yeah i thought it was just a really cute size and really cute like little Christmassy design it's quite classic christmas style um and probably thinking like i do not need any more sort of christmas mugs but i did really want a nice collection of christmas mugs so that when i do these sort of sit down videos and want to have like a nice hot chocolate or a coffee or a cup of tea it looks really christmasy and cute um so i literally couldn't resist this one obviously i've got two cats as well so i love the little santa paws thing i'm a massive cat fan i was sort of like sitting like this with my little cozy hot chocolate looks so cute um so yeah i hope you guys like that one just as much as i do and this was 3.99 which i thought was so good um such a good price for a really really nice mug i'm not quite sure what brand this is um let me take the sticker off and i can try and see uh, designusa.com whatever that brand is if you guys want to check them out see if they do any sort of similar ones to this they probably do some similar ones in your local home sense but let's pray let's pray that we're out of lockdown by the 2nd of December and you guys can go and pick this up from your local home sense um I should have really put this video live before Sunday oh well oh well it's fine um like I said I'll try and link the description to like some of the brands that I show that maybe the garden center sells maybe the um home sense sell maybe they have an online store maybe they sell them on sort of other sites so you can hopefully still buy some of these types of things although I do know home sense is very sort of hit and miss with what they have anyway a lot of the things you see like once and then you won't ever see them again um but yeah i love this i think it's just so cute and christmasy so guys the next thing i picked up from home sense was actually a cookie cutter set um i really want to start doing some christmas baking um if you've been here for a while you'll know i'm not the best baker slash chef, chef slash cook slash anything to do with it within the kitchen like i'm just not really into it um but i did really want to sort of like i like the decorating part of the cooking i just don't like the cooking so i thought if i could make some nice christmas cookies maybe i'll sort of like get more in the mood to do them could to decorate them then to bake them as well so i just bought some really cute little molds um these molds are cutters cutters um from home sense they're from the bakehouse and co and it's like a little four piece set so you get like a little bauble um a candy cane angel and uh what's this holly leaf um i thought it was just so cute um you can even do like sort of like mince pies and use these little cutters as sort of like the shapes of the mince pies as well um so yeah hopefully i'm gonna do like a little christmas baking video for you guys coming in my christmas content maybe like a lockdown baking video so i thought this would be perfect for that um and these were 3.99 which i think was really good for four piece set although these types of things you can probably get on amazon or like other small business on instagram like i'm sure loads of places will sell just like cookie cutters you can probably even make your own like to be honest so definitely can get this anywhere maybe even tesco some of the shops that are still open in lockdown so yeah not exclusive to home sense at all um but yeah i love these maybe get yourself some if you want to make some christmas cookies in lockdown if you want to get into baking i feel like 
it's not going to be banana bread this this like time round. The part two is going to be like gingerbread. It's going to be like what are those um, American cookies? Sugar cookies. I don't know what sugar cookies are. They always like intrigue me, but they always like show them on like the Christmas cookie challenge and Christmas baking challenges. Don't really know what they are. I think Kylie Jenner made them as well. But yeah, I think this lockdown is going to be all about the festive biscuits. So yeah, that's the hype that we're on. So guys, the final thing I picked up from HomeSense was actually like a little decor piece for the dining room for Christmas. Um, so I'm not sure, I think we're going to go for the white theme this year in my Christmas in my house. Um, so the Christmas tree will be sort of like a frosted green and then all the decorations are going to be white and silver and just sort of like very sort of like snowy magical colours. Um, so I saw this like little decoration for the table, like the uh, statement like dinner piece table and I thought this just looked so gorgeous. I'm going to be really careful to try and hold it up because I do not want to smash it. Um, but it basically is just like a little display with four candle holders um, and then it's just got some like really nice little frosted sort of greenery like pine cones some like little fir tree things little spiky things I don't even know what they are but I just thought it just looked so cute so like for Christmas day um, when we sort of set the table and like lay everything out we have like all like white and silver sort of decor um, so I think it would just look gorgeous with that and obviously with like some candles in I could even put this just sort of on coffee table before actual Christmas anyway just as like a pretty little pretty little thing no a pretty little centerpiece so yeah I love this I just thought it was so cute and so Christmassy um, and this was see how much money so yeah this was 9.99 which i thought was quite good because it's quite big as well um and it feels like really good quality like the detail that's going into making this is really good it's got glitter on it um so yeah i just thought it was just really cute and cozy i'm gonna do a whole video of decorating my house for christmas probably coming around mid-november so it will be in like, as my part of my lockdown content um which i'm so excited for i feel like i'm gonna decorate the house a little bit earlier this year just to give myself something to look forward to you know i feel like we all need something to look forward to so maybe you guys could do that as well Okay, so that's everything I picked up from HomeSense. Um, I didn't get too much, although I did go very recently and buy a lot of other Christmas bits. That will be in my previous vlog if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I did actually go to the garden centre, which I vlogged, um, and I got a few bits from there, so I'm going to show you guys that now. Um, so every year for Christmas, it's been our tradition, sort of like me and my mum's tradition, me and my my mum and I's tradition for literally like forever that we always go and we buy a Christmas decoration like probably near normally near Christmas to put on our tree when we decorate the tree um obviously we, we didn't want to wait that long just in case we can't get out the shots before Christmas um so we just sort of like got them now just so we can like decorate the tree in lockdown so yeah our little tradition is to go and choose like a really cute little Christmas decoration just to remind ourselves of that year that we bought it um so this year we went for this well actually we bought two um i saw this little one i think i showed it in the vlog and it's just like a little mouse so yeah we got this little mouse it's just like on a little ski set i just thought it was so cute it's literally adorable it's got a little hat on um it's got like a little rustic sort of like hanger hanger string um and i just thought it was just so cute like the attention to detail on it was adorable and i think it will look really nice on our tree because obviously our tree is this white and silver color which i keep going on about um and i just thought it was like really cute and unique as well um just a disclaimer as well a lot of the things in the garden center are going to be quite extortionate prices um i feel like every single garden center is very overpriced i don't know if it's i think i've said this before i don't know if it's just my one or if it's just a lot of them i do see that they're i do find that they're quite overpriced although i don't mind spending more in the garden center i don't know why i feel like i'm giving them sort of like business so yeah this was 6.99 which probably if it was in home sets would probably be about 3.99 2.99 um but the quality that you do get in the garden centers are really really good like this has literally been like handmade it's just so so cute and it's like very it's a lot more like unique pieces than you would get in sort of home sense even though home sense is unique as well but i don't know it's something a little bit more special about buying in your local garden center so i just thought this was so cute and i cannot wait to put him on my tree and then i also bought another little christmas decoration to put on our tree this year um and we got this little girl i don't really think she's like a little snowy girl there we go yeah we got this little snowy girl to put on the tree i just think she is so cute um it's just like a little fluffy doll type thing um oh was that paused um just like a little fluffy type of doll it has holding like a little heart and it's got like cute little hair and a little hat and i just thought this was so cute so we bought the other one and we were just going to buy the other one and then i saw this one like little one sitting there and i was like oh my god i want to get that one as well 
so cute. Um, so yeah, I'll put both of these together on the tree. Yeah, I just think they look so cute. I literally cannot wait to decorate the tree and put these on. So, so cute. So I think this one was the same price. I think it was, oh, it was only 2 .99. Oh, TV, what are you doing? Sorry guys, just had some technical difficulties with my TV again. It seems that every single time I shut the door, the internet just cuts off. So very sorry if that was like loading throughout the whole clip. I just turned it off. I'm just gonna put all the Christmassy bits here. Just so you've got something cute to look at. Um, put my mug there. Yeah, sorry about that. As I was saying, this one is only 2 99 this was, so, this was so much cheaper and it literally is basically nearly the same. So that's very weird sort of like price difference. But maybe there's something in the way that they were made. It was different. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, this one was only 2 99 which is actually really, really good. Like literally cheaper than Home Sense. So yeah, she's so cute. I need to name her and this little one as well. I'll put them here just to add to the Christmassy scene or lack of. Now my TV is going to be a bitch. So guys, the next thing I picked up from the garden centre was just like a little snack tray. Um, I just saw this and I just thought this just reminds me of like American Christmas or like Christmas when I was a lot younger. It sort of reminds me of like Christmas at my other nan and granddad's. You know when you feel like just something just makes you feel like really nostalgic? Like this just made me feel really nostalgic. So it's just like a little um, treat tray, like a little, like um, like you put nuts in this or like chocolates or any sort of thing you want really. Um, just because near Christmas, I don't know about you guys, but there's always like picky bits on the table. There's always celebrations. There's like roses. There's like trees lit. Trees lit are literally my favourite. Um, and I just thought that would be really cute to just sort of like lay in this little dish. Um, it's just sort of like a little snowy scene. It's got some raccoon. Is it raccoon? No. Badger. Badger. Um, a badger, some foxes. Um, what else we got here? A little ferret, a little squirrel, um, a little bambi, a little bunny. Yeah so cute like literally so cute it's a little winter scene and then obviously santa in the sky um i think just this just made me literally feel like christmas in my childhood i don't know what it is um but yeah i just thought it was really cute this was just 2.99 um quite reasonably priced i guess a little bit expensive for what it is but yeah i just thought this was really really cute it sort of goes with our sort of like blue white and silver theme as well um just i can't wait for like christmas eve to have this out on the table just having like watching your christmas films and having your trees lit like that is going to be cannot wait so guys next up i actually picked up this little i don't know what you call this i feel like it does have a name but i can't think what it's called does it say on here yeah it just says fruit organza bra fruit organza bag red i'm not quite sure what that is um i think it does have a name but i'm not too sure it's just like a little bag filled with sort of like dried oranges um like cinnamon just like all like christmasy spicy smells it smells so nice and honestly it's like all the types of things you put in mulled wine but i think this is just like a decorate yeah this is decoration this isn't actually you can't actually use this um but mum just got this to sort of like hang around the house i think just because it smells so cute it smells oh my what am i on about just because it smells so nice i could even just like put it in my room you can hang it on something like just to like make the room smell nice it also just looks really cute as well um i don't really know where we're gonna put this because it's like red and i'll colour scheme is not really red maybe i'll put it in my room um maybe i'll go for more of a traditional theme in my room but yeah if you're going for that like full-on christmasy very sort of like homemade vintage traditional vibe this would look really gorgeous you can even hang this from a tree like it's just so cute and smells so good literally smells just like mulled wine like in a little bag so yeah that was so cute i got this for 3.99 next up i also have some more candles and um, these are just sort of like little tea lights i thought i could put these actually in that um candle holder maybe that i just showed you guys i actually think that's a deep maybe they're a bit deeper candles um but we have loads of tea light holders around the house got like a little candelabra thing so just bought some like winter spice tea lights to put in that um, these are called Winter Spice, Nine Fragrance Tea Lights, Top Note Clove, Heart Note Cinnamon, Base Note Tonka. A spicy blend of cinnamon, clove, and clove, 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 and sweet vanilla, which I thought was really, really nice. This smells, again, insane. I just, I love, I love Christmassy smells. I feel like a lot of people don't. A lot of people are really against sort of like raisin, cinnamon, like all of that. Danny hates it. Like Danny hates mince pies. I love I love those smells. I love those foods. I personally love it. So I love the smells of all of these candles, all these winter candles. It smells so good. Um, I'm not quite sure how much these were. Oh, $4.99. Um, which I think is quite good for nine tea lights um, that smell 
really really good so yeah not really much to say about that just some little tea lights so guys the final thing i actually picked up from the garden center was a little cuddly toy um i don't know if you guys know i am a massive fan of cuddly toys like i was a hoarder of cuddly toys when i was younger even not even when i was younger what am i talking about literally like up until probably like two years ago i literally would hoard cuddly toys that sounds like some really weird i'm not that weird but like i just have an obsession with cuddly toys i love winning them on grab machines i love disney toys like when i was younger i would be obsessed with them like even more than i am now i can't sleep without a cuddly toy like it's a bit of a problem um so i basically was in um this little garden center and i saw a little toy like on the side this actually what made me cry was really sad but let's not be sad um i saw this little toy on the side and i was like oh my god if this like looks down if it can't open which i don't it might be maybe it will stay open i'm not too sure um if this like looks down if it closes this little toy is going to be stuck in this shop for a month on its own and i was like i literally can't not get it it's a little jelly cat toy and i looked at the price and i was like 17.99 for this tiny little toy and i was like I do not want to spend 17 99 on this, but I can't leave it there. Like, I literally can't leave it there. So, I literally was carrying it around the whole time, and I just ended up buying it. So, yeah, I got this really cute little penguin. It's, like, a really fluffy, like, really soft jelly cat toy, which I love jelly cat toys anyway. Um, I used to always get them from John Lewis, like, near Christmas. I've got so many of them. They're just, like, literally the cuddliest toys. I'm going to focus on him. But I just think he's so cute. I mean, he's very small, really, for $17.99. But a lot of Jelly Cat toys are really overpriced anyway. Um, but I just thought he was so cute. I just got a new White Company hot water bottle, actually. Oh, maybe I should have shown you guys that in this haul. Maybe I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, and I just thought, oh my god, like I cannot wait to just be snuggly on the sofa with this little toy. Um, I normally always get a Christmas sort of toy. That's another one of my traditions. I usually get a cuddly toy sort of near Christmas every year as well. Um, so this will be my, my little Christmas toy this year. And I just love him. He's so cute. Yeah, so 17 99 for this was quite extortionate. But like I said, Jelly Cat toys are made. They just feel special. Like they just feel so soft and so sort of like... They almost look like you've had them for years, which I sort of love. So guys, I just thought I would show you my White Company water bottle. I actually picked this up from Selfridges the other day. I went to Selfridges um, and I saw this and I felt it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so... This is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Um, and I was actually laying in bed the other night thinking like, oh my god, I actually feel really cold. Like I'm actually more of a hot person. Like I feel, always feel very hot when I sleep. I always get really hot in my sleep. But the other night when I was trying to go to sleep, my feet were freezing. Like I felt freezing and I was like, oh my god, I literally need a hot water bottle. So then I saw this one in White Company. I was like, oh my god, I need this in my life. Um, so I got it. It's, a, it's a sort of like beigey colour. It's sort of like a brownie beige sort of taupey colour um it's the softest thing you'll ever feel in your entire life like it literally just feels like heaven um a really nice size um so yeah i picked this up i'll link it in the description box along with everything else that i can find but again all of this stuff is sort of like one off or not online so i'll do my best i'll try and link some dupes for you guys um but yeah i'll link this one down below it's so soft it's literally been like my life changer like every single evening i've had this like downstairs i've had it in my bed and it just made me feel so cozy, Christmassy and warm. So I would definitely recommend getting a hot water bottle if you get cold. Um, especially like, why don't you treat yourself to a white company one? Like this was £30, which is quite expensive. Well, it is very expensive for a hot water bottle. But the quality of this is amazing, the feel. And why not treat yourself? Like, we're literally going to be in lockdown. So why not treat yourself to a really nice hot water bottle? So guys, the final thing I'm going to show you is actually from Zara Home. Um, I actually picked this up online recently and I went into the store and I actually smelt it and I was like, oh my god, I need that. I was going to buy it for my mum. This is actually my mum's really, it's not really mine. Um, and I was going to buy it and then I was like, I don't know if my mum will want it because it's like burgundy and our house is very neutral. Even though the smell of this is the best smelling Christmas candle I've ever smelled in my life. Um, so yeah, I picked up this, which is the Zara Home Gingerbread Aromatic Candle. I think this is in the medium size. Um, they do like a small, medium and large size. This is in the medium. Um, it's sort of like a burgundy colour and this front bit is velvet as well. But this is the best smelling Christmas candle you are going to get. Like, smells so, so good. Like, oh my god, unreal. And when they were burning it in the store, that's what made me go in because it just smelled so insane. Um, we, we do actually have winter by um, 
white company as well which i love i absolutely love as well but yeah this is one of my new fave smells i'm um, definitely going to pick this up i'll link this in the description box because you can purchase this one online um, i think the small one is actually really reasonable i think this one's actually re reasonably priced even though it's sort of like a burgundy color it's quite neutral in a way like it doesn't st it's not like bright red like it's still quite it's still quite like neutrally it doesn't like really stand out in the room so if you guys want to get a really really nice christmas candle you want to treat yourself definitely order this from zara so guys that was everything in my little haul of things i picked up from sort of like just like local shops to me home sense zara bit of everything just like a little cozy christmasy haul um i'm just gonna basically take my makeup off now and go to bed um i don't know what the time is i think it's quite late um i need to like sort of wind down i've, I've been feeling a little bit like like crying in the garden center i feel like i just need to like sort of de-stress obviously i've been back at uni it's been quite like full-on um i'm just sort of like still working out how to re sort of arrange my time pardon me i've just been sort of like working out how i need to sort of arrange my time um and just like devoting different tasks different things and i just need to get sort of on more of a schedule but this whole lockdown is basically just like I don't know if it's helped me or if it's just sort of it's made me focus on other things which I shouldn't be doing but it's sort of given me time to sort of do this like organization which in a way I'm slightly grateful for um but obviously wouldn't wish this but at least it's given me some time to sort of sort out my life and sort out my uni fits in in my life and sort out my youtube and instagram all of that stuff so yeah I'm gonna have a sort of like night off tonight just relax just sort of let me do a face mask I might do, do a bath soon um just to really like pamper myself really um, and then tomorrow I was going to go to London. Um, this is what I can talk to you guys about. I basically, I was talking about in this vlog, I had this like really exciting day planned in London. Basically, I was going to be going to the Boohoo showroom um, as a Queen's on campus ambassador. I was going to go to the Boohoo showroom. I was going to get my nails done. I was going to bring on this whole like London day. But I literally got an email today that said that the showroom's going to be cancelled. So it's not going ahead, obviously, because of lockdown. I'm guessing they've just decided it's not worth putting it on it's not worth having girls travel from like different places it's not safe for them to travel to different places to come to london so yeah that's not happening now which is really really sad i'm praying it's going to happen very soon um i do know they tried to literally do it in the last lockdown and then there was the previous lockdown just about got up and running for this next time and then the next lockdowns hit so it's really really sad um but hopefully it will be coming soon in a vlog hopefully after christmas maybe they'll come back and hopefully fingers crossed we can finally get there so yeah tomorrow's day of vlogging it's going to be a little bit different um it's going to be still really exciting because we have a special guest joining because lockdown means one good thing that someone is coming back home um so yeah I, at least i can see him literally for one day tomorrow and then meet up for socially distance walks um but i'm so happy to have him home you'll see who he is tomorrow i won't give it away you, probably, you guys probably already know who it is anyway um here's a fave of mine here on youtube i don't know if a lot of you guys might not have known him because a lot of you guys are new so yeah stay tuned for that tomorrow um yeah i'm gonna sign off for tonight gonna just relax reset and i'll see you guys tomorrow little little that no one ever sees because it's a little funny He's so cute. Look at the Anna. You are so cute. I love you. So hello guys. Um, it's actually the next day now. I didn't really vlog anything today. It's literally the evening. It's literally dark outside. Um, but I just want to keep it real with you guys. I wasn't having the best day today. Um, I don't know if it's sort of like the lockdown. Obviously this vlog is not really ex what I expected it to be. I thought I was going to be showing you guys the Boohoo showroom. Like going to London. And obviously that hasn't been able to happen. Which is really really sad. But obviously there's so much worse things going on. So yeah i just didn't really have the best day um i had a uni i had quite a lot of uni le lectures today um i just felt a bit overwhelmed like I, I don't really know what i'm doing for my dissertation i don't really know what i'm doing for my project so i'm just feeling a little bit like i just need a day to sort of sit and do work so i did a little bit of research today i'm gonna do some research tomorrow so that's literally all i've been doing like literally all day i've literally done like nothing else really so yeah but rakesh is coming very very soon he's literally probably gonna be on his way very very soon um so we said in the week the not the weekend the day with rakesh literally it's the last day before lockdown today so he's gonna come here we're gonna have some wine we're gonna have a chill night it's gonna be like those summer times again um and he's gonna bring his tarot cards as well so i'm gonna do a tarot reading as well which i'll vlog um and yeah i just thought i'd just vlog the evening just as like a little upbeat hopefully end to the vlog um obviously this vlog like i said hasn't really been what i planned for it to be but i hope you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless um 
I think sometimes it's also important just to show like my normal life. I feel like I'm normally always doing a lot of things. I'm shopping, I'm like out and spending money. Like obviously I'm still spending money now, but like I feel like it's a bit better to show sort of like my normal life. Like I'm, a lot of the time it's not great. It's not like amazing. It's not like this luxurious life. It's very like uni and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys have still enjoyed this vlog, even though it's sort of not been the Boohoo showroom I expected to vlog, but yeah hopefully that will be back soon um hopefully like after this lockdown they'll finally get it all up and running and i can bring you guys and show you guys what it's like there so yeah we're just gonna have a very chill evening tonight i think we're gonna film a say it or shot it as well i put a little questions tab on my story um i'm gonna film that but i'll probably go live next week or the week after but we're gonna get that filmed tonight um have a nice little bit of wine have some shots just like chill just like celebrate this sort of like last night of like freedom before lockdown um i was actually gonna go to london today i think i already mentioned obviously for the boohoo but we were gonna go anywhere and i just thought it's literally gonna be absolutely packed and heaving and it, do, is that really something I want to subject myself to? I don't know. Um, so yeah, we just decided not really to do that today. Plus, I could do without spending any more money anyway. Um, so yeah, we didn't end up going to London. But like I said, I feel like I just need to get some work done. Which is what I've done. And I'm going to do some more work tomorrow. Um, although I'm probably going to end this vlog tonight. Just because I feel like it's been quite long. So that haul that I did was quite long anyway. Um, just sort of my, my little Christmassy haul. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along with what we do tonight. I don't know if it'd be that exciting, but... And also, I don't know if you guys even know Rakesh. Um, we did a say it or shot it literally in the summer. I'll leave a link to that below. Because that was literally one of the funniest videos on my channel. Um, so this will be sort of like a part two that we filmed tonight. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see. So yeah, he's literally just like my best friend from sixth form. A lot of people think like we always like knew each other for years and years. Which we sort of have now. Um, but I literally met him first year of um, sixth form. So since we were 17, 16, he's literally been my bestest friend. Um, and he still is my bestest friend. So, yeah, you guys will meet him if you haven't met him already. He is literally crazy, but I love him so much. So, yeah, just got on this. Um, I've just straightened my hair today, actually. I've, this is literally like, the first time I've actually, like, washed and done my hair in so long. It's been in a plait for literally so long. But my roots are getting so shiny now. Like, the growth is quite good. And my, um, like, you can literally see where my natural hair is actually so, such better condition than, like, the bleach bit. So if you guys can see it's not greasy it's just it's really shiny um it's actually freshly washed and then i've just straightened it because it's been in a plait literally for like the last like four days so it's really nice to feel like freshly washed hair again um and then i've just got on my it's france tracksuit i live in this it's probably my most worn clothing items item items ever like i literally just absolutely like wear this to death i grab it all the time just when i don't really know what to wear i just want to wear something comfy that still looks quite cool i might always grab this so yeah i think they still do i'll link it below because it's literally probably my best purchase ever <laughs> shut up that's such a nice way to introduce actually a lot of people might not even know who you are because oh, i've got well no because i've got more subscribers now than when you were first in my set of shit um but we're doing tarot card readings we've got literal crystals um and then basically i just want to film because we're just <laughs> stop it my glasses on. so we're doing a star girl um george told me about this um like astrologer i think she's actually like a practical witch um, she's called Stargirl. She does like loads of like YouTube readings and like psychic readings, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I just like wanted to do this one that I did earlier on Danny on Rakesh. Um, and we're basically just watching it and it's like scarily, scarily accurate. So it's this one which is what your spirit guides... Sorry, it's not going to focus. It's basically what your spirit guides want you... Your spirit guides want to give you this message, psychic reading. So yeah, you basically have to like pick a little potion thing at the beginning. And then there's like six potions or five potions. And, you have to, and then it tells you like a reading based on your spirit guides. And we've literally like, what are we... It's one minute and 20 seconds in and literally he needs to go and... No. He needs to go and <laughs> He needs a break. <laughs> right. Now we're going to do... Yeah, don't copyright me. So we're going to do some tarot card reading. We're just going to do my tarot card reading. I'm um, very excited. I'll try and vlog a little bit of it, but I also like want to... I'm going to have to Google what each card means because you're not the best at knowing what they mean, okay, are you? Okay, cut that bit out because I'm going to Google it <laughs> under the table. I'm just going to do my tarot card reading now. The Saga reading was strangely, strangely accurate. Like, cr crazily accurate. Like, couldn't even deal. So yeah, he's going to do shit. my tarot card reading. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> still shit. I thought you said still shit. There. Yeah. I've got crystals, got wine. This actually makes a glass of wine look so tiny, but this glass is literally massive. Like that is literally like nearly a quarter half of the, the half, a, half a bottle. That little tiny bit is half a bottle. Quarter. A quarter of the bottle. And it's just such a massive glass. It's just like I've got hardly any, got any wine, but 
and that's like freshly poured also done my nails really dark really randomly um yeah really not like me to do dark nails but i thought for winter i'll do like a little crimsony brown color um so yeah i'm gonna do my tarot reading Okay, guys, so the first card is what is it? Page so you've got pentacles. reverse page of, page of pentacles, and it's basically talking about kind of um, ideas and projects that you've kind of initially had, but you haven't kind of haven't got to the, the end goal yet. Maybe you're procrastinating, but you, you kind of know where you want to go, but it hasn't come into fruition yet. So. And what, and what was the th we basically just, um, Rikash told me, and it was like, cause one of the things was that you've got a project that you need to start, but you can't seem to like get it off of the ground, and you're like distracted with new ideas, and you're not focused on your, like your core idea, and that is literally exactly what, I literally was just talking to you guys about how I just didn't know like what I want to do for my uni project, and that is literally the epitome of like what the, exactly what I'm struggling with, so it's just crazy. Every single time Rikash does one of these, it's like scarily, scarily accurate, isn't it? <laughs> Right guys, so next card is, what is it? So you've got the Three of Cups. This is quite a convenient card because it's all about friendship and collaboration and trying to reach new goals together and actually showing each other that kind of you both can provide in a friendship or your friends can provide in a friendship kind of what you both need. So quite a quite an accurate card. And where because the actually came out today. So. I need to collaborate for my uni project so maybe you can help me. Yay. So final card is, what? what is this one? You've got the Four of Swords which basically tells you to just Obviously, if you've been busy and things like that, just take a step back from it. You know, focus time on yourself. Um, maybe you've been overworked and maybe, you know, you've, you've had issues financially or in terms of friendship and things like that. So maybe you need to just take... Maybe it's you like need reset a break. and renewal, which is actually what I was saying to you guys earlier. I need to have like a day to just do research and stuff, which is actually what I'm doing tomorrow. So that's just crazy. Um, well, normally, maybe not in this reading, but normally you always get swords in your readings. Yeah, I always get swords in my reading. I always get like three of swords, four of swords. So that was my reading. Richard crazy. Hi guys, we've literally been doing literally just like psychic readings, like just like saga, like horoscope things literally all night, literally just all like spiritual good things. Um and it's been like scarily, scarily accurate. We've literally found so many similarities, it's actually a bit insane. Um I've literally had like three glasses of wine, four glasses of wine, um quite a lot. And like I said, these these look like really small glasses, but they're actually massive, like they're literally the size of my head. And I've had like three or four, so Yeah, I had white wine and then rosé. Um, Chris is still here at the moment. I don't know what the time it is. It's like, look, uh, it's like quarter past ten. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys then. Look at Lenny. He basically loves crystals. I don't know why. Every single time Rakesh brings his crystals round, he's just obsessed with them. He likes this one. Lenny. What's this? So guys, Rakesh has gone home now, so I thought I would just sign off the vlog now. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a little bit different. It's been a little bit unexpected. Not really the vlog I intended to sort of upload and do, but I hope you still enjoyed it nonetheless. I lead a very sort of like normal life. I'm just a uni student. Um, I still live at home, so hopefully this has just given you an insight into sort of a more realistic day in my life. I've had a few glasses of wine, so if I'm repeating myself, I feel like I'm a little bit tipsy but it was so nice to see Rakesh it was so nice to spend an evening with him um have him back from Plymouth and hopefully I'll go from, on some socially distanced walks with him very soon as well um I'm gonna try and do a lot more uploads during lockdown I'm gonna try and do like two a week or at least one a week maybe even two a week so maybe like a vlog and a haul each week if that's something you guys want to see let me down let me know down below um any sort of video ideas you have for me let me know down below because I would love to know um, a lot of you guys sort of want to see like days in the life during lockdown um maybe like a lockdown haul i really want to do a haul of sort of like looking at buying from sustainable and local businesses and small businesses rather than sort of like the bigger businesses for christmas maybe like a little small business gift guide or something like that so yeah if you want to see that then let me down below because, let me know down below because that's something i would really love to do um so yeah that is it from me i hope you guys have enjoyed it like i said it's been a little bit random but i feel like it's still been a little bit interesting so yeah I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Bye.